Hello everyone, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. Whee! So excited. Whew. Got this beautiful diamond painting finished. It took me 12 days. It would have taken me 11. However, I had a migraine um, on Friday and I was pretty much in bed all day. Um, so that took me down a day. But anyway, still got it done within 12 days. There were 12 um, squares. I used the washi tape method uh, for the first time. It was okay. I don't know if I'll continue to do it that way because I was so scared of cutting the canvas. Um, I'll probably just stick to my parchment squares. But anyway, so this is Oaked and Aged by Diamond Art Club. Um, the artist is Ann Tavaletti and it is a 41 by 51 centimeter which equals a 16 by 20 inch canvas. Um, this was a joy to work on. It is a round drill canvas and it's, it wasn't that large, obviously, um, compared to some of my other diamond paintings. And it is a lot of, um, three, eight, six, five, which is white. All of this back here, the background was all three, eight, six, five. Um, I don't really mind color blocking because I use a 13 placer, uh, multi-placer. Um, so I can just, you know zoom right along with it and do it but um let's see if i can get the whole thing in that's the top part and look at the shine oh my goodness look at the shine on this thing um the ab's there were some here in the wine glass the light pink ab's and then there were yellow ab's in the cheese and in the grapes oh my goodness can y'all see that shine Whee! Beautiful, beautiful. So, this is going to be a gift for my mom, um, probably for her birthday, which is coming up in October. Uh, she she loves her her wine, so thought this would be a good gift for her to do. Um, I had no problems with the canvas; it was very sticky. Uh, the drill quality was good. Um, here, I'll show you the trash that I had uh, for this diamond painting using my awesome little holder from uh, three, my 3D designs. So that was all the trash I had in the entire kit, which I mean, y'all, come on. Really? Really? That's pretty darn good in my opinion for, um, a canvas of this size to only have that um, and most of it was you know a couple of broken drills or misshapen drills in the white which that was pretty much the majority of the canvas so no issue there um, these are all my drills I keep all my drills in baggies I kit up with baggies and I just keep them in a Tupperware container uh, while I drill just leave them there and just pull them out um, they're all in numeric order I'm OCD like that uh, these were all the drills I had left over. I had plenty. I did not run out of any, all my drills. I mean, plenty, plenty of drills. And I had a whole extra bag of three, eight, six, five. So plenty of drills, um, lots of drills left over. So I will kit that down and I reuse these bags. So, um, I just mark through that and just go to the second line and right over that. And technically you can just, you know, can use a, a white paint pen and mark through that and just keep going and keep using these bags, which I, I do reuse bags often to save the environment. Okay. Um, so what else can I tell you about this? Um, it, it was a joy to work on and I got it done in 12 days. So, um, I did one uh, parchment square, I'm sorry, not parchment square, one washi tape square uh, per day, and I had 12 squares on this. Um, so it turned out wonderful. Uh, I think it's a gorgeous image, and it was chartered, charted just wonderfully compared to um, the image on the website. So definitely go check out this uh, diamond painting if you are interested in it on uh, Diamond Art Club's website. I'll have that link down below for this diamond painting. Um, 
but yeah, it's super lovely and shiny. Oh my gosh, the sparkle, y'all. Look at that sparkle. Look at that. And the beautiful shades of reds and pinks. Ugh. Wine a little, laugh a lot. Yes. My camera. Come on, camera. You can do it, Shug. There we go. So, anyway. Um, my next diamond painting is going to be a Chuck Pinson for the Chuck Along that starts in September with Mindy. I don't know which one I'm going to do yet. I'm either going to do um, Cashing Dreams or um, Space for Reflection. I, I'm leaning more towards Space for Reflection just because it's more of a fall scene. Um, I know Cashing Dreams is supposed to be a gift for my dad and my stepmom, but um, that can wait, you know? That can wait. <laughs> I kind of want to do something that I, I want to do. Uh, let's go around. So anyway, yeah. So that'll be my next project, a Chuck Pinson. And then after that, y'all, I'm going to do my sea turtle from Treasure Studios Art. Oh, my goodness. I just put up a video on that. Um, that diamond painting is outstanding. It's so lovely. But anyway. Okay. Uh, here it is. Oak and Age. Diamond Art Club. <clears throat> Wonderful. Love it. I'll have the link down below. Go check it out. Uh, thank you so much to all of my patrons for your support. Um, as I always say, I cannot do this without your, um, just all of your support, <laughs> basically. Um, but I love all of you dearly. Um, to all of my subscribers, thank you so much for watching. And, um, and to anyone that's new to the channel, please uh, hit that like button and the subscribe button and ring the bell so you know when I put up uh, videos. I randomly do giveaways. I just did one recently. Um, congrats to Melly on that, by the way. And uh, yeah, I, I do a lot of fun things um, on the channel. Uh, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully you enjoyed this little post review of Diamond Art Clubs, Oaked and Aged. All right, y'all have a fabulous weekend and I will see you again really soon. Bye-bye.